Alright y'all just got to our spot. We're going to be fishing under this dock right here. Just getting rigged up. I'm going to be using uh, just a half ounce jig right here. A little jig head. This is dock fishing 101 right here y'all. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Second cast on the blue crab. A little dock fishing for y'all. Gotta tighten this drag. Man, haven't been out here for five minutes and already. Oh, Woo. nice. There we go. That's a decent Got a fish. nice little red on here. There we go. All right, well, the 30, <laughs> degree, 30 degree temperature change didn't bother him too bad. Dang. Y'all, it's a little cold out. If you can't see, I look like I am dressed for Alaska. You look like Ralphie from a Christmas show. I can't even move. Yeah, I have so many down. layers on. <laughs> anyway, just got out to the spot. Not even five minutes pitched up right under this dock right here. Pull out this beautiful red fish. And the cold water does not seem to be bothering these reds at all. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? What up, y'all? Jeff, Christy, right here. Y'all know us. Why am I even saying that? I don't, don't know, know who we are. but you guys, we are down south in Charleston. It's some low country with the one and only Captain, Captain John, John Ward, right here behind us. And uh, you guys, well, it's we, cold. We decided to get tell. away from the cold in Virginia, but it followed us it down with, here. We, yeah, we just, we, we just, uh, John just said that we oh, just brought it with us. Degrees here. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we are we got low country right behind us, and today it's all about catching wintertime redfish. We're going to show y'all today how to catch some wintertime redfish. We're featuring low country today, Charleston, South Carolina. So, Christy, y'all get prepared, because she's probably going to catch more fish than me today. <laughs> but that's not what it's all about. It's all about showing y'all a good time, showing y'all some beautiful low country behind us, and then we've got our good friend right here, Captain John Ward. So that's what it's all about. So yeah, you guys, that's what we're doing today. Wintertime red fishing, Charleston, South Carolina. Let's stop talking and start catching some fish. Let's do it up. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so today we're gonna start with some uh, just fresh live, well, not live bait, but this is fresh bait. This is uh, cut up blue crab. It is live. <laughs> it yeah, that's right, it was live. It was live. So anyways, y'all, this is one of the best kind of winter baits right. you can use. Right at the top. Wow, and uh, so we're just using these right on a jig head and um, just fishing these on the bottom. These redfish, as we talk about in a lot of our videos, you know, they have a lot of great, uh, like, senses. They can smell. So today we're just soaking baits. Let me get a shot at it. Y'all, this wintertime fishing is awesome because it's like tap, tap, and then when you feel that weight and they're on, these fish, even though it's cold, they're still gonna be fighting. And I've got something playing with mine right now. So you do wanna keep uh you know your line nice and tight like we're doing right now because when these fish hit it they're gonna try and run you around all these pilings it's gotten real cold but sometimes they are yeah much, yeah kind of like more cold yeah since i got somebody mad. oh there, you go. there we go that's a nice red oh little pup <laughs> see it got him a different size little now. feisty red Just needed them, though. Put that lid up. they got that blue tail yeah. yep all right, y'all, just caught my second red up under this um, dock right here. Just pulled them on out with a little blue crab. Nice, healthy looking fish with a little blue tail. Jeff, where are we at up there? How's it going? Still working on my first one. Threading the needle. <laughs> I, yeah. You're what? Threading the needle? Yeah, through it. All up in there. I like it. All right, you guys, we're just going to. I haven't caught any. I'm, I haven't <laughs> caught any. I'm up here like a jabroni. Christy's caught two. Dude, I'm right in the middle of that stuff. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, good luck getting out. There we go. There we go. Right in the middle. Yep. Now the fun part. Right. Oh yeah. Dang, this guy's working me. Got a four thousand. There we go. Yep. Whew. That was crazy. Pulling these guys. Oh man, yeah, we are fishing heavier kind that's of tackle good, today. That's a good, probably a tournament fish here. Yeah. I bet you he's probably, with our slot limit being six or 15 to 23, I bet you that guy's. All right, y'all, so there it is. That's my first nice uh, dock fish. Caught him right in the middle of that dock right there. 
and definitely uh, thread the needle in the danger right. zone but that's sometimes right. that's what it takes that's right man all right y'all so there it is that's my first nice dock fish right there down here in charleston look at his tail all kind of messed up too that's just from the oyster beds and him just kind of working a lot of bait down here in the oyster beds and everything but we're gonna go ahead and let this fish go john gave him a nice tag in the winter time you guys when you guys are releasing these redfish you do want to give a little bit more caution because these fish their metabolism it slows down a lot so you really want to make sure that you take the time to revive your fish there he goes you don't want to like thank you you don't want to just like throw your fish back especially after you had them out of water taking pictures and everything in the winter time these fish their metabolism slows down so a lot of times these fish all they're focused on is like survival so you really want to make sure that you release that fish correctly all right y'all these docks right here especially in the winter time are great for redfish black drum as well love these docks so this is dead low tide as y'all can see We've got all this uh exposed oysters and everything dead low tide and we still have about six to eight foot of water in this dock so these fish they just pile in right here they get a lot of protection from dolphins and uh, that's really the main reason why they come in here and they love to associate around these docks especially in the winter time all right y'all so that's the ocean right out there and we're gonna go into this little creek there's christy photo bombing <laughs> So John, so like winter time, are these these fish are redfish are going up in these creeks, right? Mostly, you get in one of these little shallow water creeks to get away from the dolphins a little bit to get some warm water, um, and there still might be a little bit of food around hanging around the structure that we're gonna fish, different rock walls and uh, dock pilings. Uh, but I would say right now, probably this little low tide spot, it's mostly to get away from the dolphins, which. I hope I wouldn't pay attention when we go in and we hit the bottom. <laughs> Y'all, check this out back here. Just a really cool spot fishing this really skinny waters. Jeff is getting his fly ride all rigged up. About time, hopefully, I'll get on his first red on fly. That would be awesome. That is did the goal. Did you bring my, fly, my flies that I tied for you? Uh, I did. You did? I did. Sweet. I'm oh, getting some six shots of John driving. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeff, what you got down there? got my goodie bag of a fly flies. stuff use mine first I tied it with love on the fly see if we can get something <laughs> are you getting bites nice <laughs> Dang. I think I got the drag locked up the other day <laughs> all right y'all captain john warren is on a nice probably redfish right now What'd you get on there? Some crab? Yeah, we'll chunk of crab. Dang! That's a pretty fish. Do you want the net? No, I got it. Dang, Captain Warren. Here we go. You ain't messing around. First cast of the day and you're already on a fish. That is a beautiful fish. fish. And this is probably eight pounds. Is that one tagged? Oh, is, is that a parasite? Yeah, just a parasite on there. Nice. A big chunk of blue crab. It's a pretty, he's got a good golden color. Mm-hmm. And a gorgeous fish. Where'd you catch him, Christy? Huh? Caught him right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just grabbed him. What a pretty fish. I got one. Oh, I got There we go. Nope. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. That's a good one. Dang, he's running me all around through here. Wow. What's up? Dang, this guy's like trying to take me out of the creek. Wow. Yeah, you guys, I'm bowed up right here in this tiny little creek. This fish is working me. Just wish he would bite on the fly rod. <laughs> Be like, yeah, hey, I just cast it 30 times. That yeah. Dang, really, Jack? You just pick it up first, cast it, you get a fish? What were you fishing with? Crap. Oh, where's your, your, oh. your hook come on top? Oh, it did? Oh, man. 
That was a quick release. We got yeah. to the leader. Quick release. Yeah. That's right. We're still flying the redfish okay. flag today. Here, at least get this one on. Oh, jeez. Did it just break off? Oh, that is... Jeez, this is a red. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's a big fish. Or just a really strong fish. Man. All right, y'all. Here we go. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Nice. Woo, that's how it's done right there, y'all. Winter fishing at its finest. Boom. For all you people who are just sitting inside on the couch, not getting out fishing, this is what you guys could be getting on. Big old Goldilocks, Goldifish. 30 something degrees, windy. That's right. Man, that's a good looking fish. You can't catch them sitting at home. All right, what you got? All right, y'all, second spot is already producing. Woo! That's what we came out here for. In the middle of winter, you guys can't catch these sitting inside. Although it is a little chilly out, 35 degrees, but fish are still biting. Boom. Little Goldilocks. <laughs> All right. All right. Let her go. Throw them back in the water. Let them go, let them grow. <laughs> nice. You really think we're getting bites? Oh, you weren't. Sometimes. He, oh, he oh. There he is. That running up Woo. Alright, another little pet. And got him on the shrimp this time. What boo? Oh, okay. Come on. There you go. Yay! <laughs> nice little puppy drum. Sweet. Okay, here. Hold this. Right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's Let's my see. little fish. Look at that. T his oh tail my gosh. is kind of gone. John, is yeah. that because yeah. the oyster bars and all that? I, something might have nipped it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah or something grabbed it when the younger was up. Man, maybe a dolphin tried to eat it. Oh, you had one? Dang. All right, y'all. There's my little puppy drum. Beautiful little drum. Check out that Look tail. Look how blue that tail is. A little that is snippet awesome. bite out of that tail. Got parasites on it. All right. See you later, Mr. Jim. Oh, thank you, John. Really has like a number of things going on. It's gotten bigger too. And like these other like really good things. Yesterday was like you know, it's going a couple of years off. It's getting a lot of weird. Stop. I'm feeling it. Oh, got him. And I'm on. All right, y'all. I got oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, there with shrimp. the Ooh. shrimp. And I was double fisting and I had Jeff's rod in my hand too. There's a black drum. Oh, it's a little black drum. Ooh. He's cute. He's a little guy, but. You hadn't caught one of these today. Nice. Ooh. We like to celebrate diversity. Yeah. Get a little. Now you got the, the fish that didn't change this morning. Like nice. That's right. You're live. All right, you guys, I switched over to a fish finder egg. We were just fishing the bottom right here at this dock. And just Catch pulled out shrimp. nice little black drum, pulled them out on some shrimp. Live shrimp is doing the job for these guys. Um, it's also stacked down here with not only black drum, but also sheep's head. So after both of those as well with the live shrimp, we're hopefully going to get on some more, a little bit bigger size. But just want to show you guys nice little black drum. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. That's a that's a nice looking one too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's a good eater size there. Yes. Like if you wanted one for dinner, I think these guys and this state's got to be 14 inches. Uh huh. And this guy's probably 15, so he's probably right at the. He's got some new jewelry to go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something for his friends to be jealous about. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Some new jewelry. Getting back to Mother Nature. And he's gone. Nice release. Voila. <laughs> Alright y'all, so that right there, that wraps up a very successful day of fishing back here in these shallow flats, shallow creeks. We did some dock fishing today, we did some shallow creek fishing today, and what was it? All live shrimp? Yes, we've got... Um, mud minnows. Yep, we did mud minnows, live shrimp, blue crab. Uh, the blue crabs seem like the best bait of the day, I felt like that's what most of the redfish were hitting on, but Honestly, who would have thought coming out in 35 degree weather 
we'd be catching some big reds. But today was awesome. But yeah, John, so yeah, these fish, even though it was cold today, we were able to get them, get them biting. Yeah, it just took a little more work. They weren't as aggressive and it was just a soft bite. It was yeah. a little bit different than normal. Right. It took us a little bit of getting the hang of it because the little, when they nibbled on it, we wanted to set the hook or really That's right. do like we would normally do, but it just took them a little more of convincing and they had to test it out first to make sure it's something they wanted. But that, like you said, a 30 to 35 degree temperature change overnight and the, the water dropping down another five degrees in a 24 hour stretch. that. That makes them slow down a little bit. So you guys, like, that's why, John, would you say that's why like blue crab too is good? Cause it's just all those like oils and everything. It's got there. a lot of smell, a lot of extra scent. And yeah. When redfish won't eat anything else, they'll eat a blue crab. Yep. So that was it you guys today. Blue crab was the bait of the day. Blue crab, we caught some on some shrimp. Chris has caught a few on some minnows as well, but that's it y'all. Check it out. Beautiful low country here. Charleston, South Kakalaki. If y'all ever come down to this area, hit up John Ward, Affinity Fishing Charters. Anywhere in Charleston, you guys hit him up. Today was like, nobody's out fishing today. Nobody. It's freezing. Except Too for cold. us. <laughs> Except for us, and John put us on fish today. So you guys, if John can put us on fish today and it's like 35 degrees and it was close to 70 the past few days, then any day y'all come out here and catch some fish. So. Yep. You got, no excuses, y'all. Now get up off your butt and go out and catch some fish. Peace. Peace out.